Hello, my name is Liz Garrett. I'm a research software engineer here at the Caparezo Lab. And in this tutorial, we will be going over sample metadata. Before we get started, I want to make sure I have a couple of things pulled up here. Um, I want to first pull up the Galaxy Workshop server. So this is going to be a slightly different URL for me than it is for you, since I am using the Galaxy development server. Um, for all of the participants, you should have received a URL for the workshop server. Um, that's going to be workshop-server.chime2.org. Um, so for me, I am going to navigate to galaxy-testdrive.chime2.org. Um, this is going to be the interface that we're going to use for all of our tutorials um, throughout the week. So please make sure that you can log in um, and you have access to the workshop server. <clears throat> the next thing I want to make sure I have pulled up is the tutorial. You should have received this link um, prior to the workshop, um, and that's going to look like this link up here. Let me go ahead and zoom in here a little bit so you can see the actual tutorial itself, but that's going to look like uh, chime2-workshops.s3.us-west-west-west-2.amazon-aws.com. Um, and from the control room, uh, that should have been posted um, into the chat prior to this specific video. Um, so please let us know if you're having any trouble accessing the tutorial. Alrighty, so from the tutorial home page, I am going to go ahead and scroll down here. We're going to start with the upstream tutorial segment, um, and I am going to come down to exploring the tutorial metadata. So what you'll notice here is this little drop down. Um, this is going to be the interface selector. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to switch this over to Q2 Galaxy. Um, so you'll notice there are a few different interfaces available. Um, we have Q2 CLI. Um, we have Galaxy, which is what we'll be using um, for our workshop um, for all of the tutorials throughout the week. Um, we have our Python API and then our developer source code. Um, so feel free to check these out on your own time, um, but we're going to stick with the uh, Q2 Galaxy view for purposes of um, our tutorial videos and the workshop. In this tutorial, we are going to access the study metadata. We're going to go ahead and upload that to the Galaxy server. We're going to take a look at that metadata. Um, we're going to run Chime Metadata Tabulate in Galaxy, and we're going to view the results in Chime 2 View. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. So we're going to start off here um, by accessing the study metadata. What we're going to do in this tutorial, um, we're going to take the sample metadata file directly from the tutorial page and upload it to the Galaxy server. Um, this is going to prevent us from needing to download it to our local machine um, if any of us have space or memory considerations, um, and that way we're all kind of on the same page here um, and running through the same process. So I'll go ahead and zoom in here as well. Um, I am going to go ahead and start off by clicking the Upload Data button. And I am going to leave this on this first tab over here titled Regular. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and select Paste slash Fetch Data. And I'm going to start by renaming the file here. So I'm going to erase this new file 
and I'm going to go ahead and retitle this as sample-metadata.tsv. And then I can go ahead and disregard this type, genome, settings, etc. Um, so from here, I am going to want to navigate back over to the tutorial page and I am going to right click on this hyperlink. This is the hyperlink that will take me to the actual metadata file. Um, if for some reason you did want to look at this locally, you could just left click on this. Um, that's going to give you the option to either open it locally or save the file. Um, we're going to right click on this though um, and then I am going to go ahead and select copy link go back over to Galaxy, right click one more time, and paste. So I'll just do a quick visual inspection here to make sure this all pasted over correctly. And then I am all set to press the start button and let this start uploading. Perfect, so I should see this 100% under the status bar when that's finished and if it's successful I should see this little green this box highlight in green with a little check mark so I'm going to go ahead and close that out um, so we can see here in this history um, which is going to show us all of the files that we are going to be uploading um, so we can see this sample metadata.tsv here um, note that I've titled this as FAES Upstream Tutorial Data. Um, your history is going to look a little bit different than mine. Um, it'll start off being untitled. Um, I named this Upstream Tutorial um, to make things a little bit easier since we are working with this Upstream Tutorial segment. If you would like to give your current history a name, um, you can start by clicking on this unnamed history and go ahead and delete that and you can rename it whatever you would like. Um, and all of these numbers that you see here, um, that's also going to vary from user to user. Um, this is going to have to do with if you've uploaded any other files, if you've deleted anything, so you can kind of disregard this number here on the left. Alrighty, so from here um, we want to uh, take a closer look at this sample metadata. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to run this Chime Metadata Tabulate tool. Um, so I am going to scroll down through these different um, plugin and tool options and I'm going to scroll down to Chime 2 Metadata. I'm going to select Chime 2 Metadata Tabulate and now from here you're going to see a few different things going on. Um, what I want to focus on is this input here. Um, so this is the metadata um, input. This is going to be where we're going to want to add in this file that we just uploaded. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this as metadata from TSV um, in this drop down list. And in the metadata source, I should see this sample metadata.tsv that we just uploaded. If for some reason you're not seeing this here, you can go ahead and select this drop down. Um, and this should be present here. If you're not seeing that in the drop down at all, you should be um, able to go ahead and add that from browse data sets, and that should give you that sample metadata um, that we just uploaded, as long as that's in your history. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, and I'm going to go ahead and press execute. This is actually going to run this command. Um, so I am going to press execute and I'm going to see that this is currently running right now. I know that because we have this little progress bar. Um, 
once it has completed, I am either going to see um, this box turn green um, if it's completed successfully or red if there was some issue with it. Um, so once I see this as green, I can click on this and this is going to give me some more information. Um, so this is telling me that the results um, of running Chime Metadata Tabulate is going to be this visualization um, or .qzv file. Um, so our Chime 2 results are going to be either visualizations or artifacts um, for any of these various commands um, and tools that we have in Chime 2. Um, so we're going to be able to determine what these results are by the, these file extensions. So we'll see either a QZV for a visualization or a QZA for an artifact. So what we see here in this history name on the tutorial page is this little hashtag chime to metadata tabulate um, dot 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 and then we have this visualization.qzv. Um, so you'll notice that on my Galaxy um, server page, this looks a little bit different. I have uh, seven chime to metadata tabulate on data six visualization. So again, that has to do with my history um, and that's going to vary um, between all participants. So that's why we just have this generic little um, hashtag right here. Um, what I am going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and modify this um, QZV file name. Um, I want to name this something that's going to be a little more meaningful to me if I want to come back and look at this later. I'm going to go ahead and click on this pencil icon, which is going to allow me to edit the attributes of this file. Um, so I'm going to go over to this name here. I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to go ahead and click on this, highlight everything, and delete that. Um, and I'm going to set that to metadata-sum-1.qzv. So I'm going to say metadata dash summ dash one dot qzv and then I am going to go ahead and hit save here perfect okay so now I see that um, name has changed um, and it's set to that metadata dash sum dash one all right so now we are ready to go ahead and view our metadata in Chime 2 view. Um, so I can do that over here um, under the details um, of our uh, metadata sum1 file. Um, so I see this little hyperlink here, view at Chime 2 view. I can go ahead and left click on that and that's going to bring me to a new window um, that pulls up uh, this QZV file in Chime 2 view. If for some reason you're not able to pull this up, um, you can also go ahead and view this from the tutorial page. Um, go ahead and click on this view hyperlink next to metadata sum1.qzv. In the tutorial, we have pre-computed all of the results for our workshop participants. So if for some reason you're unable to view the results directly from the Galaxy server, you can use the hyperlinks associated with these results as a fallback. Um, okay, so I am going to go ahead and expand this over here, um, zoom in a little bit more. So viewing this um, metadata in Chime 2 view is going to give me this um, Excel type spreadsheet view um, of our metadata and this is always a good step to take um, before you move forward in your analysis um, if you haven't looked at your metadata already just to kind of give you an idea um, 
of what you're looking at if you know for some reason some, there are any formatting issues um, or if you have to contact your uh, sample provider if anything stands out as a problem um, in your data. So I can go ahead and scroll through this. This is going to show me all of the different columns in my metadata. Um, and I can play around with this here. I can sort um, my data by different columns. Um, something to be aware of is as you're playing around in here, you're not actually modifying the contents of that QZV file. All you're doing is just modifying your view. So what I want to call out while we are still here is this, um, this little gray box underneath the sample ID column. So we can see this hashtag Q2 types. Um, and then in all of the following columns, we can either see a blue numeric box or a green categorical box. In Chime 2, your metadata columns are going to be one of two types, either numeric or categorical. And this is helpful when running analysis because depending on whether or not your data is categorical or numeric, you can do different things with it. So for these uh, metadata column types, we can either specify whether or not they are numeric or categorical beforehand. Um, so you can go ahead and go in and modify this in your metadata file before uploading it. Or you can leave it as is and allow Chime 2 to infer what the type is. Um, so Chime 2 will infer numeric if there are only numbers in a given column or missing data. Um, and data will be inferred as categorical if there are any non-numeric characters. So in this sample metadata file specifically, we went ahead and we added in these numeric and categorical column types beforehand. So one reason that you might want to do this is if you have a column that contains all numbers like this patient ID column here and you want to actually set that as categorical since we want to see all of these patient IDs as separate categories um, versus just numeric data. More information on handling metadata in Chime 2 can be found in our metadata tutorial which you can find at docs.chime2.org slash 2021.11 slash tutorials slash metadata. Alrighty, this concludes the sample metadata tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial was to help you familiarize yourself with computing a visualization in Q2 Galaxy and viewing those results. We will be looking at this specific sample metadata in much greater detail in subsequent tutorial segments. I'd encourage you all to spend a few minutes um, exploring Galaxy on your own if you haven't done that yet. Control room, if we're seeing any uh, questions coming in about how to use Galaxy or Chime to view, this might be a great time um, to go ahead and address those questions.